Mini Wargaming Dan here from MiniWargaming.com here to bring you Warg Orc Tactica with Kill Cans. Okay, so Kill Cans, they're sweet. They're awesome. They take up a heavy support choice, which are very precious. However, you can take one, two, three of them in one squad. A little walker vehicle squadron. So here is why they are awesome. First of all, they each get a Dreadnought Close Combat Weapon. So, even in the assault, they can't do damage. You gotta be careful, like, the enemy units, like, they don't want to be throwing, like, their expensive units into them. Because, first of all, they probably don't have that much that can, I mean, they're, they're only armor 11. Okay? And then, obviously, 10 in the back, but they're a walker, so you hit the front armor always. So, there is still a lot that can't hurt it, or can only glance it. But... More importantly, that close combat weapon, when it hits back, you might hit before it. But it's initiative two instead of initiative one. Hey. So, they'll come and hit, and then you're just like, and you can kill one or two. Usually, it's like three guys, just to kind of just kill them. And if they're, um, if they're multi-wound, you're probably instant kill. And so, they're actually not that exciting to charge into and run into. But their strength, their main use, is their shooting. Because it's one of the only units in our codex that is a grot, actually. So same thing as an orc. Orcs wired in there. But it's a, it's a grot. So I don't know how a grot sounds. It's just, you know, orc, but there's less. I got too deep of a voice to do it effectively. Anyways. Little grot stuck in there. He's happy because he's actually protected. Because grots are always like, hey, grot. So you just, just kick them and they're like, and then they die. Or like throw them in the minefields and they blow up. It's just like grots are expendable in every way, shape, or form, and form. So, kill cans, all of a sudden, they're kind of a big deal, they're kind of important to the army, and they're <laughs> it gets to their head a bit, but that's fine. So, and the, the kill a can, the real issue when you, when you first get a grot in a kill a can, he's, he, if, you, if you let him, he'll run around, he'll find all the other orc boys, and, and normally not knobs, sometimes knobs, and he'll seek revenge, which is, you know, stopping on them and just and killing them easily now because, hey, of course, avoiding the knobs with power claws because then they can actually fight and obviously out of sight of the war boss. Um, but that's what just where the works do. So <laughs> they, 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 it gets to their head. But yeah, so or, orc shooting, which is like, hi, you throw a bajillion shots, but you have such crappy uh, ballistic skill, doesn't matter. All of a sudden you have ballistic skill that's. I mean, it's, it goes only plus one ballistic skill, but it makes a huge difference on a die six. You get plus one, that's huge. So all of a sudden, you can start hitting with things a lot more often. Instead of a 33% chance, you have a 50% chance. Well, so now you have the option of either getting rockets, big shooters, or grot zookas. You could also give it a scorcha or a custom mega blaster. But Scorcha is, eh, you need to be really close for a Scorcha, which like assumes that you're gonna charge in afterwards, which is, might as well take a Death Dread for that and you can take two Scorchas. Um, yeah, it's like that's never, no, never take a Scorcha with a Kill a Can really. And then the other one is the, the Custom Mega Blaster, which is, okay, it's a bit more expensive than a Rocket, and the only time that it's better is if you're shooting, if you know you're facing a lot of Terminators, because then it's AP2 instead of AP3. So are you facing power armor, or are you facing Terminators? Because against vehicles, it's the same. But, so it's just, you gotta you got choose. So you got anti-infantry, anti or anti-vehicle, which they can do both really well. And so, all of a sudden, I'm sure you guys have heard of the kill a can wall. And this is where you put one kill a can, and then another, and then another, you have three, and then you do those three again, and those three again. You have nine kill cans, okay? All your heavy support are gone. However, throw a couple of custom force fields in there. May you can actually only even give one, because if like half the squad, half the squadron is in, then you can go. So if you just position just just perfectly, you're just you know just grazing it and just slowly moving up. Hey, it's good times. And then the big mech can maybe repair it. Problem is with a squadron. Okay, if you're immobilized, you're destroyed. So don't bother taking grot riggers. And it's, it's so weird how every vehicle in the Orcodex is so diverse. You can give them so many things, but they're almost always useless. Unless you have a very, very specific 
um, mission for them. And orc vehicles are kind of meant to just run out and die, mostly anyways. So, I don't know. No, yeah, so kill the cans, sit back a bit more, um, or, you know, advance up the board. So, rockets, just like you know, normal rockets, you shoot enough of them, and you'll blow up stuff. So, strength A, you can glance land raiders and kill most everything else. You know, they're great against AV-12, you just... And so, they're just, they can just hammer, 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 and if you hit a space marine, you might as well be dead. So, so that's good. So just very diverse, very useful against a horde army. You can't, it's not like a crack missile, you can't do like a small template instead. You can't like choose in between. So against a horde army, it's all of a sudden eh, not so good. You can at least take out their transports at a relatively good range and maybe some of their back units that are more expensive, you can get them. But a squad of like, for example, a squad of big boys charging in to kill the cans, just the power claw alone will be enough. And, they can't kill enough boys to really affect the squad that much, and they'll they'll rip the killer cans apart, kind of thing. So then, so that's so anti armor and elite squads rockets. Then you have or custom mega blasters if you really really want. I recommend not. Then there's the big shooters. Big shooters. Okay, so imagine a huge squad of bikes. Okay, so you have. And those are, yeah, you get three attacks. Yeah, so a bike is a three attack squad. So basically, what I'm getting to of it, <laughs> formulating my head right now, right? imagine a squad of like nine bikes that are instead kill a can that have double their normal range. So if you think of like a bike attacking something and shooting it and doing that much damage, like with nine of them, which is a lot, if you're familiar with bikes, um, because you can take out light armor and you can just deal enough wounds to deal lots of damage in different units, especially uh, weaker units, you have a lot more hits. But at the same time, bikes are twin linked, but killer cans have higher ballistic skills. So bikes are still slightly better, but not too, too much. So basically what I'm getting at is if you have three squads of killer cans all filled with big shooters, first of all, big shooters are cheap as well. And so even more points for other things in your army. And then you can just shell out so many shots every turn and at a three foot range, you're probably gonna be able to shoot at whatever you want. So anti-horde, great. Anti-light, even anti-elite stuff. You just shoot enough at strength five. It's not that hard to wound still. You're hitting, you're usually wounding still on fours, maybe fives if it's something big, big. So you just shoot at other things. Wounding, wounding on threes for normal guys. You can just force them to roll enough saves, they're gonna roll bad, poorly, here's hoping, and you're gonna be able to kill a lot. So that's awesome choice too. So you got rockets, you got big shooters. Now you got Grotzookas. Now Grotzookas are something very unique. There's nothing like it in the Orc Codex, they just can exist for the killer cans, okay? So, explain the Grotzooka, and put this down. Explain the Grotzooka, it, they, they just kinda like, shoot whatever. It's kind of like this shove everything in just like a and it's just kind of like poof, just shoot shrapnel at them. So great thing is the assault too, okay? So it shoots twice, small blast, okay? And it's enough strength to wound on twos for most infantry, unless it's like a bit tougher stuff. So you're almost always wounding on twos. You are cutting through medium armor, like just like uh, you're not getting through power armor. But you can cause, well, you know, on hordes, groups, you're, you're going to get through their armor. And they can yeah, shoot twice to each, and you get three of them. Three guard because the only downfall is only a foot and a half range. Okay, 18 inches. Ah. So it's like, really? <laughs> so you, your killer cans have to get up close, and they're easy to skirt around, or you, you kind of know, and so you can target them down if they know. So you have to be more, it's a little more tactful, a little more difficult with Grotzookas. However, if you hit a good, like a good amount of hits with a Grotzooka, that's six t small templates on, on a group. It's kind of annoying to roll for. <laughs> scatter, 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 scatter. However, you can just deal so much damage, even more so than the big shooters, but the big shooters have, you know, double the range. So you'll get an extra, uh, you can keep safer, and you get an extra round of shooting, at least, with the big shooters.
And so you gotta ask yourself, what are you facing? What are you gonna do against? A lot of people like mix it up. It's like one squad of rockets, one squad of big shooters, one, one squad of gratzukas and just like run. Or you know, you just take one, that's fine. But usually redundancy in the orc codex is wonderful. So don't go halfway with this. If you're gonna get some cans, you can throw them in, you know, have some fun, throw it, but you want full effectiveness of cans, being three squads of three, have a full nine, and they wreak havoc. They really do. They're annoying to deal with. Because they're, first of all, they're vehicles, so even if you hit them and wound them, like it's like you have to, and you have a cover save, then you have a cover save, and then you might just like stun it. Or, uh, yeah, you're just like, ugh. So it's out of commission for one turn, but it's gonna be back next turn. And so just vehicles are annoying to deal with in 40k. So they're just, they're lots of fun. So try them out, bring them in your battles. For those of you who already have them and you're stuck in your ways and using one weapon, maybe try a different weapon. See if it works well for you. But it's, it really depends on play style and there's, there's no right answer for what's best because of the myriad of different things you can fight against and the different situations and the different terrain and your play style. I honestly think that all three options are completely viable and awesome to bring. And that's really all you can upgrade to. And I'm, you can upgrade grot riggers and armor plates, but it's a, for a kill a can, that's super expensive, you know, for what, what they are. And so I would say 99.99% of the time, do not bring those. Do not upgrade that at all for the kill cans. But other than that, that's it. That is your kill of cans. So, have fun, kill things, and report back to me.